Hi, I'm Chef Raphael and welcome to Baking with Chef Raphael, a show that is meant to make you confident about baking at home. Have you subscribed to my channel? Make sure you do so that you catch all my weekly episodes on cooking and baking. And today I'm going to show you how to make a zucchini bread. You can call it cake as well, but it's a zucchini and zucchini is probably what we also know as a courgette or baby maro. So for the ingredients I have uh, all-purpose flour, whatever will make it rise is baking soda, baking powder. For the flavor, I'll have cinnamon. You also have sugar, eggs. Um, now the zucchini itself, it's grated and I've used the big holes on the grater. And also, this is also optional, is green apple. Um, it has some extra flavor uh, and it's a different texture from the zucchini. We also have oil in the ingredients. So we start with the eggs. I'll add the sugar. So you only just need to make sure that the egg is fully beaten. Then to the flour, I'll add the cinnamon. The baking powder, the baking soda. Now I mix it and then one cup, that's 240 ml of oil. Now here I'm using corn oil, but the idea is to use a flavorless oil. What happens with the courgette, it, it adds the moisture to the cake. Grated apple. When you're doing the apple, try and do it close to the baking time because apple tends to be brown to oxidize. Now one other thing that you can actually add to this mixture is raisins or sultanas for a different texture and also some sweetness. Grab some margarine or butter and then apply on the sides and on the bottom of the tin. It helps the grease proof paper stick. All I usually say whenever, whichever choice you make with your baking tin is that, first of all, don't fill it up more than three quarter way of the tin because you want to give your cake room to rise. So now I'm putting it, I'm going to put it in the oven and but make sure your oven is preheated. And in this case, we want it at 180 degrees. The cake is ready. It took around 35 minutes for this one. What happens when you add the zucchini into the cake? What happens? It moistens the cake. Um, and the cake is soft. And even when you cut a slice, um, it has a soft crumb. About the sugar, you can always reduce if you feel that this was too sweet. But uh, the most important thing is for you to enjoy it. So I hope you learned something. Make sure to subscribe to the channel so that, like I always say, you get to see what's coming up next. And until next time, I'm Chef Raphael. Goodbye. <laughs>